the five o'clock hour. Time to check the roads out there. Derek Odom is standing by live in the Arlington Toyota First Alert Traffic Center. And there's word of a serious accident on I-95, Derek. Yeah, things are pretty quiet here in Jacksonville. Only that situation out on 10 and uh, 324 uh, getting cleared up right now. But things, if you're going down south, 95 southbound, you're going to get stuck in some traffic making your way down in the Flagler County area. And one of those people stuck in traffic is our very own Ashley Coleman. Take a look at this picture. And Ashley, how long have you been stuck in this backup? You know, Derek, we were stuck for about an hour, and we actually just made it out of that uh, traffic jam. And I sent you guys a new picture that's on its way that shows what exactly happened down here. An RV uh, turned on its side. It's blocking two lanes down here. It's actually uh, in Volusia County. Uh, we're, we're headed to Orlando right now to do some reports on the Casey Anthony verdict. And so we were stuck in this for a long time after we uh, got into South Flagler County. That's when we got stuck. And it was about an hour just slow going got into Volusia County and right at exit 268, that's where the uh, RV is overturned. Pretty bad looking accident. No word on injuries right now, but uh, look pretty bad from what we could see and uh, two left lanes blocked. So if you are headed south in the next hour or two, chances are you will run into that big mess out there. Derek? Now I was hearing that the crash is near the State Road 40 exit. Is that correct? Yeah, that's the one. All right. How far, how long were you stuck in that backup? How far back did it go? You know, the, the accident happened around 3.30. It's 5.30 now, and we, were, we just got out of it about 10 minutes ago. So wow. we were stuck there for a good hour. And it's just, you know, you're going a few miles an hour down the road. So, yeah, if you are headed south, be aware of that. All right, Ashley, thank you very much. Not a good situation there, so be aware of that. And we'll have an update on all the local traffic conditions coming up in just a little bit on Action News at 6. All right.